I'm delighted to introduce a woman who has a history of making social change and taking action from a single standpoint that began back in 1969 when I was just about 27. And, uh, and Wendy McCarthy joined a campaign to make McMahon's Point rezoned out of industrial and make it into residential parkland, something that everyone can enjoy. She's gone from strength to strength. She, um, she introduced family planning to Australia, which I wish you'd introduced that to my family of 12 a little earlier, although being number nine, probably I shouldn't. Uh, <laughs> and um, she's a big advocate for, uh, for feminism, for the environment. She's a massive mentor to, um, to women throughout Australia. Please join me in welcoming our very proud One Million Women Ambassador, Wendy McCarthy. Thanks, Wendy. Do you like that or that? I like to take her microphone away from her, otherwise she might heckle me. <laughs> Let me thank you, Donna, for your welcome to Gadigal Land and from the people of the Eora Nation. I'd like to pay my respects. What a fantastic sight. I just want you to visualise that while you're sitting here now, just across the other side of the harbour, there are a group of women walking into Admiralty House to be sworn into Cabinet, and it will be the most significant moment in Australia when we have the greatest representation of women's leadership in Cabinet than we've ever had. And what's amazing, <laughs> utterly amazing, is you could be one of them. They're all in their 40s. They've all been well mentored. They've been pretty well educated. They've taken advantage of their opportunities. And they haven't been frightened to stick their necks out and try and do things differently. They've resisted the idea that because we've always done things this way, that that's the way to do them. And I just want to leave you with a message as I open this thing today to remember that most of the great social change in the world has been led by women. And especially in the Green Movement. Petra Kelly in Germany started, probably started the contemporary Green Movement. A woman called Olivia started the National Trust in the UK. A woman and mostly middle-class women, well-educated, who knew how to leverage their power and their education, just like our new young women in Cabinet, and who started the National Trust here. And the National Trust here, you probably think of it in terms of buildings like this, where we fought to get this ceiling done up, for example. But actually, the National Trust started as a green movement. And the heritage buildings came later because they wanted to look at the total environment. And I guess that's what One Million Women does. We look at the total environment. We think about how we save what we've got. We think about how in our regular lives we can do it. Some people say to me quite often now, look, when I've made a lot of money, I'm actually going to be an activist. What I say to you is make activism a part of your everyday life. <laughs> think how you can do it every morning. When I joined One Million Women, Natalie gave me a bit of a lecture. She's quite good at that. And she asked me a few questions and I worked out things that I could do immediately. And I thought I was pretty good. Turn the computer off. Drive, you know, more sensibly really. Um, a little slower. Think about what car I use, what sort of petrol. What could I do in my daily life? And what it reminded me is we forget sometimes to do those things. So I want to say to you, look around and save. Save, think about what you're wearing, what you can recycle. Have a party with your friends. I've got all my granddaughters and daughters-in-law and so on, there quite a lot of them, over last week and said, see this cupboard full of clothes? They're yours. Take them away. You can sell them, give them to your friends, do whatever, but I actually don't need them anymore. And then when you've done with that, give some of yours away to someone else. Because there are so many things that we can do. I always smile when Bernie talks about McMahon's point because I went there as a very young woman and I couldn't believe it that we weren't allowed to renovate because it was zoned industrial and it was going to interfere with the council. So with a group of women, we all met at the Baby Health Centre with new babies and we said, geez, there's something really weird about this. I had never done anything activist in my life. And the more we talked, because we had to go to the Baby Health Centre every week and we got to know each other and we were all living there because the houses were cheap. Well, by the time we'd done it up and made it fabulous, guess what? We couldn't afford to live there anymore. <laughs> However, it's beautiful and it's fantastic. Think about being an everyday activist. And I always want, I just want to leave you with some beautiful words from a woman called Unity Dow. She's a black woman from Botswana, the first woman onto the High Court 
and a long battle to do it. She changed the rules so that women could keep their name and their nationality when they married someone else. And she said, what I say to my daughters every day is tread lightly on the earth, leave no footprint and think about what Donna said to you. Before we got here, we were carbon neutral. Just let's keep it that way. And now have a fabulous day saving the world. Thank you so much, Wendy. Thank you, Wendy McCarthy.